What's up? I'm Caden from Render Effects, and this. And this is how to get hit by a car in Final Cut Pro. Let's get started. Filmed on a tripod, you will need two shots. One, of you walking out to the middle of the road and faking being hit by a car. Two, of the car driving through the frame. You can drive yourself or you can film a random car driving by. Make sure to stand at the same distance from the camera as the car. Remember, it is super important to have good acting to sell the effect. Good acting can make or break a VFX shot. Also, make sure that you're filming with manual focus and exposure. If you're filming on an iPhone, be sure to touch and hold to lock exposure and focus. Now that you have all your shots, let's hop into Final Cut. Place the car shot as the base clip on the timeline. Place the shot of your subject getting hit on top of the car shot and trim it to the desired point of impact. Then, line up the clip so that the car is touching the subject at this point. It may help to change the top clip to 50 opacity as you are lining up the two shots. Now, Change the opacity back and add a freeze frame to the last frame of the top clip where the subject is acting getting hit. Add draw mask to the freeze frame and cut out the subject. Click transform and keyframe the freeze frame to move it along the hood of the car. Then, blade and delete the excess part of the clip. Next, go to the effects tab and add directional to the freeze frame. Add a keyframe to the directional amount of the first frame and increase the amount on the last frame of the freeze frame to match the amount and direction of the car. Now, add a mask around the first part of the clip of the subject in order to show the car enter the frame. Add a keyframe to position and control points on the mask and adjust it to be more precise as the car comes closer to the subject. You may need to feather the mask. If you feel that the crash is too slow, you can either cut out a few frames of the subject at the point of impact, or you can select all, command A, create a compound clip, and then speed it up until it is at your desired speed. You may need to add motion blur after speeding up your footage. I have linked an awesome free motion blur plugin in the description below. Final step, sound effects. Sound is a make or break for any effect. All the sounds we used are free, built-in Final Cut Pro sound effects. Layer in as many as you'd like, the more, the merrier. And from there, you can enjoy your finished product. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below what you want to see from us next and follow us on our Instagram if you want to be a part of choosing our next video. Have a good one and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.